Hope Eric DIY with another great review for you. Tonight we're going to review the SV Boney SV25 Refractor Telescope. So we got Zach this telescope. It is a beginner's telescope and it has several accessories to it. So the SV Boney Telescope comes with a 20 millimeter eyepiece and a 9 millimeter eyepiece. It also comes with its own tripod. It also comes with what they call a Barlow lens, which makes it magnify three times whatever you have in the telescope. With a 20 millimeter eyepiece, you can see things 21 times closer. And if you add the Barlow eyepiece on, it will actually make that three times that, which means it will be 63 times as close. And with the nine millimeter eyepiece, things appear 47 times closer. And then you add the Barlow lens, and then it will make them 141 times closer. So those are the lenses and how they are used. They also give you a really nifty poster of the planets and the solar system. The SV Boney Telescope is really easy to get the eyepieces in. I'm gonna have Zach demonstrate. Zach, put in the 20 millimeter eyepiece, please. And tighten it down, it stays tightened. It also has a viewfinder, so that way you can aim towards whatever you wanna see first. It also comes with a cell phone holder so that you can take pictures and the little elastic band that goes around it just in case your phone's flying around, but it does have suction cups on it. So as you can see, it'll take some adjusting, but you can get a picture of whatever you're gonna magnify. And it has a focus right here. You just turn this to focus it. So we're gonna try to go outside and see what we can find. All right, we're out in the front yard and you see that we have the red light from the flashlight. I actually review this flashlight, so if you like this, I'll leave a link in the description below, but we're using this so that way we keep our eye vision where it should be to use this telescope. And the moon is right up there. So we're gonna look through this telescope. We're gonna try to take some pictures and possibly video of what it looks like through the telescope. So we can definitely use their tripod over there. However, it's a little rickety once you get everything in position. I've been trying to take a picture of the moon now for about a good 30 minutes and I've just haven't been able to keep the telescope steady enough with the attachment they give you. So I'm gonna try to put it on my tripod which will be a little more sturdy and it does have a regular tripod connector underneath so you can do that. But I'm gonna try to pick, take a picture of the moon using my tripod. And that's what the moon looks like through the telescope with just my cell phone. Sorry about the shaky video, it's just really hard to keep it level but it is just a beginner's telescope so uh, the tripod could definitely use some upgrading because this is on my ball mount tripod which is working and it looks really really good that's live from the moon through the telescope again sorry about the shakiness but this is with the smaller eyepiece which is supposed to provide a closer look at the moon and this is without the three time magnifier so that is a live video of the moon. And I'm sorry if there are any clouds. Sorry about the focus too. Sorry if there are any clouds that come in front of the moon, but it's getting cloudy now. But that is really good for a beginning, for a beginning telescope. There is a phone app that I do recommend for doing this, so that way you can spot where the stars and constellations and planets are. It's called Starwalk 2. And what it does is it tracks everything by compass, so that way you can see what's in the night sky. So it's really, really cool. And as you can see, it'll just follow my phone and show where the stars are. It does cost a couple bucks, but it is highly worth it. So. I recommend this if you're really looking for stuff. Like for example, it's telling me Jupiter is straight ahead of us. So, good app to have. And that is our review of the SV Boney Telescope, which is a beginning kids telescope. Zach, what did you think of it, bud? Good. Yeah, what'd you like about it? I liked like, we were like reviewing it and like, you like putting the eyepieces on and stuff. You like putting everything on it? Yeah. Yeah, did you like looking at the moon? Yeah, even I like screwing the stuff on. Yeah, so you actually like to, you know, messing around with it. So it is a good beginner telescope. 
It is not meant for professionals. Uh, definitely will get you some good views of the moon as we showed you. But if you're in it just for the beginner, this is definitely a telescope that you could use. Another thing is that the tripod, it will work, but it's a little shaky when you're using it. I recommend if you really want to get some good pictures with your cell phone and some video, just like I did, one, probably get a tripod that will be a little more stable. I actually reviewed one a while ago and I used that with this telescope because it does have a regular one fourth inch mount on the bottom of it. So I'll leave that link in the description below. And also, when you're taking pictures with your cell phone, you might have to adjust it just right. So if you use one of those red flashlights like I showed you earlier in the video, uh, I reviewed the PX20. I'll leave that link in the description below, but that will help you find the view hole for the cell phone while you're trying to get it in the right position. So I definitely recommend one of those too. If you'd like to purchase the SV Boning Telescope for kids, beginner telescope, please look for a link in the description below. We'll send you to Amazon. We can purchase your very own. Every purchase will help support the Eric Dayy channel. We appreciate all your support. If you like this video and you want to see more like it, please give us a thumbs up and push that subscribe button below. And while you're there, also push on the bell notification icon so that way you'll be notified of future Eric DIY video releases. We appreciate you viewing this video and we hope you view more. And we just want to say have a great night. As always, if you like this video, found it useful, please subscribe. And if you have a product that you would like reviewed, please contact Eric by emailing him at Eric. 5150 DIY at gmail.com. Have a great day.